venue's amazing, man. It's got quite good seats. Uh, all the fans get a good view. You don't get the big bankers in front of you getting in the way, so I think it's quite a good uh, arrangement, aye. I've seen some highlights because a teammate, Kieran Malone, was fighting on it. Um, but I've heard a lot of good things about the show. I'm looking forward to, to fighting on it. I think the atmosphere's fantastic. I like uh, the crowd comes from one side of the ring, but it's so like when you turn that way, it's a wee bit like, ah, and then you look the other way and it's no good. So I prefer the big crowd in front of you, so that's brilliant. Natural progression of boxing since I was 11 year old. Um, as soon as I started doing M an MMA class in Livingston, just got the buzz about it. Like I was started boxing again. It's brilliant. I was in the I was in the cinema one night watching Never Back Down with my big brother, and uh, we thought we'd try and get in it. And then here I am. Training's going brilliant. I've uh, been training with the Dinky Ninjas now since October, um, and my training just went up a total different level. I um, think my game's coming along pff, leaps and bounds in every every aspect of it, so I just can't wait to fight. Our train's amazing. Uh, actually, I'm not working just now. Uh, <clears throat> I'll start work again in about three weeks, so I'm getting to train as much as I can. I, I'll get two or three sessions every day. Uh, James, he's, he's a bit of an all-rounder. Um, obviously, I've fought, fought him before and um, with Drew. Uh, some say he won, some say I won, uh, so it should make make a good fight. Um, he's a very good grappler, saw him fight a few times, obviously I fought myself, but I saw him fight other people as well. Uh, very good grappler, and he seems very, his cardio is very good. He seems to be able to go for a while, so I expect it to be 100 mile an hour. I reckon he's quite a well-rounded uh, fighter, actually. I, I think he is quite well-rounded. Um, I think that... Um, I'm better at everything, but I think that last time I did underestimate him, I underestimate him sorry, and uh, I don't think that uh, that's going to happen again. I'm not going to take him lately, I'm going 100%. Underestimated me. Uh, definitely, I believe I won the fight, but like I say, if you leave it in the, leave it in the judges' hands, that's what will happen. I'm just training in all aspects. I'm like I said, now training with the Dinky Ninjas, I've got the best fighters in Scotland here uh, training with them, sparring every day with them. Um, f top Muay Thai guys, top wrestlers, top everything, so I'm just training again and being an all-rounder myself. I just pure violence. I just want to just go in and get that, that draw off my record. It feels like a loss to me, so uh, just go in and just use everything that I've got. Just go straight through them, just make a statement. 100 mile an hour. Um, obviously, no, I'm going to win. Um, we'd like to do it early, but if it goes to three rounds, I'm happy with that. We'll just go go at it, full war. Uh, well, I've said it before, but I see the fight going wherever I see it going. But uh, well, that didn't quite happen last time, so I'll not be too cheeky this time. Uh, I reckon that uh, it's going to be quite a close fight. I think he is. Uh, uh, last time we thought he was quite strong. I thought he was quite a physically strong guy. So uh, I've been working the weights and the kettlebells quite a lot. Obviously, trying to. Uh, yeah, we get an upper hand on that, and uh, I've been working absolutely everything to, to a T. I don't see any holes in my game just now, for the, especially for this fight, so I'm feeling good. The fans can expect a champion, so it's going to happen. I think that uh, I don't think he knows what's going to happen again.